I thought I'd uh, take a minute and share my recent acoustic guitar kit build. Uh, links for the kit and the parts will be in the video description. Um, when it came in the mail, the unboxing, um, my first impression was pretty good. The kit came totally undamaged, and the wood grain in the kit was actually well beyond my expectation from the pictures on eBay. Um, I did notice there was the only weird thing was the veneer on the outside seemed to be like totally off center. It's off just by a few degrees off center. That becomes more apparent when you go to install the bridge. Um, the uh, neck was uh, in pretty good condition, only a couple of tool marks in it. The thin, the veneer was very, very thin on the headstock. Um, you can see the nice grain. There's a nice scarf joint there. Um, higher than most but really not not a bad kit well drilled really clean the uh, joint here on the neck makes it almost foolproof to uh, install for an amateur like me there's some goobers here and there on it and some parts that need to be cleaned up with sandpaper but that's normal with uh, any kit build that you're ever going to do is you're going to have to touch it up a little bit uh, there's the parts bag the bag of goodies And um, I managed to um, slip my cell phone on the inside of the body and just get a couple of photos of what it looks like from the inside. I mean, it's you know, not Martin perfect, but it's not bad. I've seen a lot worse um, from off-the-shelf guitars that I've worked on in the past. Um, and then I moved on to the initial staining. Um, I had to, uh, you know mask off the areas where the neck was going to be glued and you can see here where the off-centeredness of the veneer is and the front of the headstock is going to be a different color than the back so I had to mask that off and then masking off the fretboard I used standard blue painters tape for all the masking and you can see where the goobers just come right off with a little sandpaper when you clean them up and here's the headstock after a um, initial coat of a light colored stain and we're preparing the front for the same treatment. Uh, this was a little later in the build, but it moved the picture to here. It um, shows how the grain just pops out of this thing. It was a really quite impressive. Um, very light stain. And then the grain just comes out, and the book matching is, is really attractive. Here's the, the front a little bit. It's a different color from the back. And the grain just pops right out of there. And I moved on to um, gluing and placing the bridge. Not a lot of info out there on the exact ways to do this, but basically you you know go from the nut to the scale length and, and then add some compensation. I use the millimeter side of my ruler uh, to be more accurate, and then use the uh, Stumac uh, Stuart McDonald website for um, their fret calculator. You can see here again where it's off-center on the veneer quite badly. Um, getting the bridge aligned perfectly with the neck and there was a small hump that had to be sanded out again. Sanding's expected in these kits. Uh, my primitive gluing call, a um, couple of big C-clamps and some wood to hold it down. And then um, I put everything together after it was, um, the glue on the bridge was dry, and these are some shots of it flipped over upside down, um, prior to this fit, and you put all the hardware on, get all the holes in it, um, make sure everything works, string it up, play it, make sure everything's in right, do a kind of a basic check out of the tuning, make sure you haven't gotten the bridge completely wrong. And uh, there's a picture of the headstock and my dirty socks. Um, and that's the stock hardware it came with. Not bad tuners. Actually, quite impressive tuners. About the same as you get off a uh, sub $500 anybody guitar in a guitar shop. I had a spare set of buttons from my parts box. And there it is strung up. And it actually played quite nicely right then. And then I decided to, after we did the clear coating, to do 
Let's stick a pickup in here and put some electronics on it. A little scary. You gotta cut a big hole in something you've just spent two weeks putting together. But it went in nicely, easily. Um, there's little rubber gaskets on these guys that fit really nicely. And there's a completed project. Um, I changed out bone nut, bone saddles, um, locking tuners, changed the color to black. It seemed to look a little better with it. Um, ebony bridge pins and then I put on a set of the earthwood uh, silk strings because I haven't played in a long time and I wanted something nice on my string on my fingers but there she is um, I'll put something in here about how she plays now and thank you for watching